Hi there shipmates. I did tell you in my original Z23 video that you should not expect to contribute high damage scores for your team. Now while you view the equipment build and captain skills for this battle, I should go on to explain that wouldn't you know it, a couple of battles later I actually got my high score in this ship and this is what you're going to see in this battle. Now we're middle tier in this battle and looking at the enemy destroyers I believe all of them could give me a run for my money in a gunfight. And as you would expect a destroyer captain say we also have the unwelcome presence of a shikaku. And again as I mentioned in my previous video if you're going to get high scores in the Z23 you're going to depend on your torpedoes and that's what you're going to see in this battle. So enough of the preamble let's get on with this. Now my initial thinking here is actually to move towards A from my spawn position, um, stay in between A and B so that I can switch to whichever one I see is the most relevant. As the tactical picture emerges I can make a decision about where I best serve my team in terms of providing spotting or support of one of the caps. it looks like Benson is going to take the southeast flank, Jutland's going to be, and Mint's basically AFK or just reluctant. I think I'll move towards A initially. at the minimap we can see the enemy has two destroyers uh, in the D cap at the moment but we have plenty of support on that side of the map. The enemy carrier has put a fighter over A cap which is usually a good indicator that someone's on the way to try and uh, take that cap. But I see that Jutland now has company in B so let's go and give some assistance there. The enemy is capturing A, but there's no close enough support to take advantage of me providing spot in there, so uh, that just reinforces my decision to help Jutland. <laughs> So it looks like my support is more theoretical or emotional than practical because I can't hit a thing at the moment. So the enemy brisket of E-cut has been sunk and I haven't landed a single shell, so well done Jutland. Okay, Bismarck secondaries are opening on me, but he'll lose sight of me as he goes past the point of that uh, headland on, on the island between us. But I do see Lenin in A now. Although I haven't spotted it yet, my assumption would be that he does have a destroy, destroyer escort. But let's see if I can drop some torpedoes down that way and uh, chip some damage away from him. I want to help finish the capture of B before I do so though. Really? Support with what? There's nothing here. You can see from the torpedo uh, aiming guide that Lenin's turning around here. Let's put some torpedoes in front of him, try and catch him there. I need to smoke because Lenin's within my concealment range now, so he, he'd have me spotted otherwise. Also allows me to get some shots away and see if I can possibly start a fire. Yeah, fingers crossed, let's see. To 
does Lenin have Hydra or is that just um, good play by the, the captain? Is he going to dodge them all? No, we land one and we get a flood and looking at our damage score, he's continuing to take damage. So let's see if we can start a fire and accelerate that loss of ship health. He just got hit from our carrier as well at the moment. I guess this guy can't be happy. But he's having a look through his dictionary of harsh language right now. I'll tell you what, his mood's not going to improve if my torpedoes can reload quickly. Okay, I'm going to try to use the island to deny him a shooting opportunity if I'm proxy spotted. In fact, I'm uh, just line of sight spotted now. But the torpedoes are just about ready to go. Having said that, he's down. I don't even think they're necessary. Let's get them away anyway. Just one round. There you go. Finished by the torpedo. She seems a very good ship, the Lanning, but unfortunately I didn't have the opportunity to get her while she was still available. Um, she was taken offline very soon after I started playing World of Warships. Anyway, I can see here the enemy DD smoked up in A. Let's see if I can use the Hydro to force him out of there. And hopefully I'll be able to hit him better than uh, my shooting when I was after Brisk of Ica. Again, finding it very difficult to hit anything with these guns, but uh, he's got some support coming from the other side of the cab now, so I'm going to use this island to go undetected. I perhaps repaired a little early there. I could have been in trouble if someone managed to start a fire on me. Let's drop a rack of torpedoes there to see if we can hit anything. Now, I'm not going to turn straight back into the A-cap. That would be suicidal, and I can't force out all of the enemy ships, so... Here's a better idea, let's go wider and provide some spotting. Although, I have no support. Having said that, the shore seems to be coming my way. That's a ballsy move by Jutland, trying to take D with um, most of the rest of our team on that side of the map, hiding behind the island. And one of those torpedoes hit and started a flood. Looking at the damage score, it looks like he's repaired immediately. Now let's take a look at the mini-map. I'm, I'm going to guess that the enemy are not expecting any resistance in ACAP at the moment, so we'll press through regardless. So let's get a rack away on the actual predicted path for the Azuma there. And that Freddy the Grocer is a bit strange seems to be parked. I'm gonna keep an eye on that one and see if I can figure out what he's up to. Okay, Zuma has taken three of those torpedoes, started two floods. Um, looking at the damage score again, now that is con continuing to increase, so it looks like that that's perma damage. I don't think that's the Azuma though. I think the remaining torp that missed the Azuma has hit Freddy the Grocer. And he's still parked, so I'm gonna send another rack um, down range for him. Now the Zed's torpedoes are not that fast, so the guy has plenty of time to get out there if he has Hydro running. So 
like using torpedo aiming as a guide, it doesn't look like he's inclined to move out of there. So um, the first rack of torpedoes look good. Let's send the second group. It's the AFK. So all four torpedoes from that first salvo hit the target and caused two floods. And you can see the damage score still racking up. He's not long for this world, man. Time to cap eight. So that's a quick turnaround in fortunes over the last few minutes. You know, we've got um, a three ship advantage now. And once I finish capping here, we'll have a, a three versus one cap advantage and almost a 300 point lead. Hey, that'll do for me. Very welcome at this stage of the game. And look, the enemy carrier has spotted an isolated German destroyer with crappy anti-aircraft. Do you know what? I'm not convinced about the positioning of that remaining enemy destroyer. But then I have more pressing issues to deal with at the moment. Really? I'm not swerving. What's, what's that drop of torpedoes? Just trying to keep me on the line, I'm guessing. Uh, let's cut back across them now. Oh, what a bad drop. Uh, they were accurate, but he dropped them too close and they didn't arm. Lucky me. But he got, he got more luck this time, um, and that's down to Zed's lack of manoeuvrability. Okay, I'm going to go and hug uh, Shores now and see if I can share his AA bubble. see the enemy rocket planes coming in now let's hug this island a little bit so it denies the rocket planes time to see me so they can set up for a run and then I can smoke up and there's still time to add another cap for some XP in this battle as well Fantastic points leads. We're going to have all of the caps now and a massive ship advantage. This is game over. Perhaps it's time to hand out the cigars. So those remaining enemy ships don't look to be posing any kind of threat at the moment, nor showing the intent. And we even have our carrier in the cap with us. So that's it. Good job, well done. And congratulations to everyone are in order. Let's take a look at the final scores then. 147,000 damage, one solo cap to assisted caps and just the one ship that was sunk. Landed 11 torpedoes, I mean even shot down seven planes. Okay, top score with 2000 XP. Um, looks like our pommel was a little quiet during the game though. So here's a quick view of the detailed damage scores and just enough time to say thank you for watching today and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.